So I have a question. What connects uh, rap legend Tupac Shakur, Macaulay Culkin, and the Disney Corporation? Well, stay tuned, follow along with this science experiment, and you might just find out. Mr. McFall presents Science You Can Do In Your Home. Please be advised, Mr. McFall is a trained professional. Make sure you follow all safety precautions before attempting the experiment shown in this video. For this experiment, you're going to need some source of clear plastic, um, like this uh, bottle of oil, that would do quite well. Other sources, very liquid bottle, um, obviously other brands of soap are available. What I'm going to be using is the plastic from this pallet of grapes. You can see it's got a nice flat bit of clear plastic there. What you're looking for is a piece of rigid plastic. Uh, so go have a little scavenge around your house and uh, see what uh, is available. You're also going to need a pen. Uh, a ruler and a pair of scissors. Okay, so you can see that I've cut out my pieces of plastic now. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to draw a trapezium on these pieces of plastic. In order to do that, you're going to start off with a one centimeter line. Uh, find the center line, point of that line, so half a centimeter, and place a little dot on it. Um, then measuring from that center point, you're going to measure down three and a half centimeters. So three and a half, place another dot. And then centered on this dot at the bottom, you're going to rule a six centimeter line. So obviously three is in the middle of a six centimeter line, so starting from zero all the way over to six. And then the final thing that you want to do is just join up the edges to form your trapezium. So I'll just do that now. Join up the edges. And there we go. Now we're gonna cut this out. We're gonna do this four times. So we're gonna make four of these. So whenever we cut by the magic of YouTube, I will have four of these cut out. So now we have our four trapeziums cut out. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to stick them uh, edge to edge to form a pyramid. Okay. And in order to do this, we're going to use cell tape. We're going to cell tape them along the long edge. It's easiest to do the first three lying flat on the table and then the final one uh, whenever you're assembling it. So that's what I'm gonna do now. When finished, you should have a little pyramid that we're going to set upside down onto a phone or a tablet. And we're gonna play a specific YouTube video uh, link in the description. So uh, we're going to dim the lights here and I'm going to show you the final result. Hello, it's me again, Mr. McFall's cartoon alter ego, here to explain the science behind the experiment. So what you have just seen is an illusion. It is an illusion that is pretty old, and it's called Pepper's Ghost. 
So I'm going to explain how Pepper's Ghost works. So if you uh, go to a window in your house, I'm pretty certain that you'll be able to see outside the window. Um, but if you get really close to the window, uh, you will also be able to see a reflection of yourself in the window. And this is because glass can transmit and reflect light. It can transmit and reflect light. The reason you can see outside is because light from the sun is reflected off a tree and transmitted through the glass to your eye. So that's light which is being transmitted through the pane of glass. But whenever you get close to the glass, the reason you can see yourself is because light is reflected off the surface of the window frame and into your eye. And this property of glass to be able to transmit and reflect light is the essence of the Pepper's Ghost Illusion. Take a look at this picture uh, of Pepper's Ghost. Um, you can see the audience over to the right and the pane of glass which uh, is reflecting the image of the ghost. So the, what's fairly obvious is that the audience can see the actor. And the reason the audience can see the actor is that light is transmitted through the pane of glass. Um, light which is bouncing off the actor is transmitted through the pane of glass and therefore the audience can see him. Down below the stage, hidden from the audience, is a ghostly figure. And she is brightly lit. And what is happening there is that the light from her is bouncing off the top of that glass and into the eyes of the audience. And so therefore the audience sees a combined image, the light which is being transmitted from the stage and the light which is being reflected from below the stage. And therefore they see this translucent figure, this ghost. Now let's take a look at some more modern examples of Pepper's Ghost. So, what's going on here? Um, obviously, Joe Pesci's character in Home Alone isn't actually being set on fire. This is a very clever application of Pepper's Ghost. What's actually happening is that there is a glass pane in front of the actor here and a flame behind it. And what we're seeing here is the reflection of the flame in that glass pane. If you look carefully at this frame, which I have frozen uh, from the movie, and if we zoom in, you can actually see uh, features reflected in that glass pane in front of the actor's face, um, which shouldn't be there. But it's only if you freeze frame it would you be able to see it. So this is actually a really, really clever way of uh, using this illusion. Uh, here's another way. In 2012, Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg appeared alongside Tupac 16 years after the rapper's death. This was achieved using the Pepper's Ghost illusion. The last one that I want to look at is the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland, which also uses this effect. So here you can see uh, what appears to be ghosts uh, going about a dinner party. And what's actually happening is that these are models which are lit from beneath the ride and right in front of you is a glass pane and uh, that's light reflected off that glass pane but you're also seeing the empty room with light transmitted through the glass. So that is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this look at Pepper's Ghost and tune in next time for another science experiment you can do at home.